Do you like to assemble things? Do you like programming? What about the face recognition, object recognition? Well, all that you can do with the Sunfounders PyCar X version 2. And that's what we'll be looking at today. We'll start in a couple of seconds. From time to time I review things that are not related to or around smart home. I still have another Soundfinder product video that's been recorded over a year ago, but not released. Video on the Pyron Man, or this case here. But that one is actually related, since Case is hosting Home Assistant, or Raspberry Pi 4 that's hosting Home Assistant. But also, that case can be controlled from within Home Assistant. Unfortunately, not everything, but still some things can be automated. This time it's different. We have a kit that's awesome for kids, teens, but also grown-ups that are interested in robotics, programming and electronics. While I'm talking in the background you can see the assembly process. In the kit, if you order a kit with Raspberry Pi 4, you'll get everything you need. That's one big difference between the version 2 of the kit and the previous one. And when I say everything is included, that means that now we also have a lithium-ion batteries. I got the review kit without the Raspberry Pi 4, so I ended up bribing few people to get my hands on this for a ridiculous price. For start, you will need to assemble everything. I would say that you need around one hour or something similar to get this kit assembled fully. Documentation that is included, but also can be downloaded online or viewed online, is easy to follow. There is one step that needs to be done before the robot is fully assembled, but even that can be done later, and that is the calibration of the servos. PyCar X includes following sensors, 5 megapixel Raspberry Pi camera, it can be used for object detection, but also face detection, not exactly face recognition, to follow or run away from the face it sees, or object it detects. But also it can be used for other fun stuff. But no, we will not be talking about programming now, but let's skip to other sensors. There is also ultrasonic sensor to measure distance from object. Plus you have a cliff or a line following sensor. Cliff sensor means that the PyCar X will detect when it is above the cliff and it will stop. If you program it, or if you program it the other way, it can just continue driving. And the line following can be used in a case that you create a floor on the map, on the paper, with the black sharpie. The robot will then follow or the car will then follow that line. Plus it also has the internal speaker or the external speaker that can be used and programmed, for example to play music but also text to speech. As I mentioned the documentation is really excellent. Besides just the basic information about the kit, you also have assembly instructions. I also mentioned that you will need to adjust servos, but you can play with the Python, if you don't know anything about the Python and the examples here, you have also Python video courses that will teach you how to do stuff in the Python. I myself and my kid were playing with the EasyBlock. EasyBlock is a visual editor that allows you to drag and drop the code and it makes it very easy for the teens or kids to play with the device and to program it. And as I mentioned, there are a ton of the examples that you can start and play with and then customize to your own needs. But before you do that, after you assemble everything and before you calibrate the servos, because this is needed for calibration of the servos, you need to download the OS. You need to download the image from the link that's provided here, then you need to download the Raspberry Pi imager and after that you just need to follow the guide and that is to select the custom firmware, select the storage where you want to flash that OS, configure for example the name, the Wi-Fi or the password for this Raspberry Pi, and just write it to the SD disk. After it has been written and verified, you pull the SD card and install it inside the PyCar X. Now you have option of either using your tablet, iOS or Android phone, or you can do everything through the web browser. The biggest difference between those two editors is that if, for example, you are using iOS, Android or either iOS or Android tablet, you will be connecting via the Bluetooth network. I did have some issues with my phone, but since we were playing with this on my kid's phone, it worked seamlessly there. First thing that you need to start with is calibration of the card, and it's very easy. You can do it either through the mobile app or through the web browser, you connect to the device. If it's the first time, it will automatically pop up to allow you to calibrate the servos. 
pan tilt for the camera and also the wheels to align to go straight forward. After the calibration is done, you can play with the examples that are included in both the mobile app but also in the web browser. This is how the EasyBlock Studio looks in the web browser. You have examples, my project, new project or import the project. First thing you need to do is click on the device, select the product, in this case it will be PyCar X and in a case of the web browser we are connecting from our desktop or a notebook PC, we need to press connect and then specify the IP address of this device or host name and click on confirm. It will take a couple of seconds for the browser to connect with your PyCar X and you will see notification here but also you will hear a beep from the PyCar X. In the menu here you can go to settings, if there is a new version of the OS on the Pi car, you can press here and update but also you can go back to calibration process by clicking this button here. But we will be looking at the examples. Each example is available in two flavors, in a block flavor and it looks like this, but also Python if you prefer Python. This is how the code looks in a Python. It's awesome because this way you can both teach yourself if you don't know Python, but also you kids how to program something in a block code and then you will also be able to see how it looks in a Python. First example as I mentioned is move, here the robot or Pi car will just follow five actions, it will move forward, backward, turn left, turn right and then stop. But there are more complex things that you can do, for example this one creates a remote control where you can run it and then control how the car moves. After you select run, you will see download successful or download failed. That means that the code was successfully uploaded directly to the PyCar X. But besides those basic examples, you can do more complex stuff. For example, test ultrasonic module. This allows you to detect the distance between the PyCar X and the object in front of it. Or this test grayscale module that will test the sensors that are below the car and that can either be used to follow the black line or for clip detection, how they call it. Then we have a color detection. Color detection is an excellent way of using camera. You can print those color cards and then use those color cards to trigger something on the Pi car. For example, green can be go, red can be stop, yellow can be turn left, orange can be turn right, this one can be, I don't know, turn 90 degrees and this blue one can be, for example, play a song. All that can be done via the camera that is, as I mentioned, included in the kit. And it is using OpenCV to process colors that are on the cars themselves. Then we have a phase detection. Phase detection can be used, for example, to count number of faces on the screen. Unfortunately, this is not a face recognition, this is just a phase detection, but nevertheless, you can do actions. For example, move the robot until it sees the face. When it sees the face, it's scared and it drives backwards. Something like that. Then we have a sound effect and sound effect can be either a specific sound or it can utilize text-to-speech engine to say specific message that you want to say. Please subscribe. Three, two, one. Please subscribe. Three, two, one. Then we have a background music, this allows you to control the volume of the music and play something in the background while the robot itself or the car itself is doing something else. We have say hello, music car, clip detection, minecart, minecart plus, bullfight, beware of pedestrians, traffic sign detection and orienteering. Each of these examples, as I said, is available both in the block version but also Python version. But as you can see, if you avoid EasyBlock and go directly to Python without using EasyBlock, you will have to utilize other way on how to connect and control the device. First of all, you will need some kind of a terminal to connect via the Telnet to your PyCar X. Then you will be using that Telnet to issue commands or create scripts in Python or whatever you want to do to control the car. But if you go this route, the Python route, there are even better examples that you can play with. For example, we already mentioned obstacle avoidance, but we also have computer vision, where you can take photo, detect colors, switch off color detection, scan a QR code, switch on off face detection and more. Another great example is stare at you. That means that the camera will detect your face and then it will try to pan and tilt the camera in such a way that your face is always centered. 
we have possibility to record video and of course you can do a first person view from within the car and drive it like that. No matter how simple or complex the code is and it can be either in a block or a python, this really is a great way for your kids but also you to teach something new. And since this kit also has a lot of sensors inside, it's really fun for kids to see and learn how they can control different aspects or different sensors by either using the block or the python itself. And of course, for kids, it's very easy to program everything because this is available through drag and drop in the easy block. And if on the other hand your kid or you are experienced in python, you can look at the python code here. Ok, there are some good things about it, but there are also some things that could be improved. The kit overall is of a great build quality. All the screws and everything are included and there are a lot of extra stuff. The good thing with the version 2 of the kit is, as I mentioned, it includes the batteries. And those are two 18650 lithium ion batteries that are charged through this robot head that is included in the kit and that is used to connect all the servos and everything to the Raspberry Pi module. And when we are already talking about the Raspberry Pi modules, it can work with the Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 3B+, plus, or Raspberry Pi 3, plus also 0W. And it's good because a lot of you may already have a Raspberry Pi 3 module at your home, so you just need to get this kit. But when we're already talking about that, what is the actual price? There are two available options. One is with battery plus charger, and this one is currently selling for $81.99. The other one includes the kit, plus battery, plus charger, but it also includes Raspberry Pi 4, and that one costs $154.99. If you look at the price of the Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs of RAM, yeah, it can be a bit of expensive, but remember that we still have issues with sourcing those parts. So to be able to order everything at one place, and get everything you need for the project is an awesome thing. And I'm telling you from my experience because it took me some time until I could get my hands on the Raspberry Pi 4 device myself. It's great to see that SoundFounder, after releasing version 1 of the robot, has improved on it. And now we do not use the normal alkyne batteries anymore, but it includes the lithium ion batteries, which makes the device more appealing because you do not have to waste money on the batteries, but also it allows you to have everything out of box ready for you to start assembling and programming. If you do order the PyCar X, and the link to some founders website will be down in the description, I'm sure that both you and your kids will have a blast with it, and you will spend a lot of time playing with it. One thing that can be potentially improved in the future versions of this one is how some of the parts are assembled. While most of the parts are screwed in, some parts are just pushed in, and they do seem a bit of wobble. Of course, this is not a precise scientific object, and everything will still work great, but I just wish that some of the parts, for example, the front wheel assembly, is a bit stiffer. But on the other hand, whatever we have thrown on the robot, and I do mean code here, it worked perfectly, and we just wish the batteries would last longer. If you want to check out the SunFounder Pi Car X, the link to the website will be down in the video description. And if you're not interested in the cars, there are also some very similar projects, such as this one, Pi Dog Robot Dog Kit for Raspberry Pi. I haven't played with that one, but the kit itself looks very similar to the car one, except this one has legs and probably can walk or just move or sit or something like that. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a like and also drop me a line or comment down in the comment section below. And before I wrap up the video I want to thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, subscribed, liked, commented or shared my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by either clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month, or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Plus there is also always the option of sending me a super thanks, and as always I will be super thankful for that. I will be seeing you next time, until then, bye bye and have fun.